What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you on how to get the yellow joggers for your male character. So this is only one transfer outfit. The only downside for this glitch is that you will be losing all of your outfits, but you can only save one. So before you start this glitch, make sure you are wearing the outfit that you want to save. Now I'm only creating one outfit through the transfer glitch. So what you can do is just make this outfit, wait until I do make another transfer video because I'm gonna show you on how to make four or five modded outfits. And then you can have six total modded outfits if that's if you guys want to but to get the yellow joggers what you need to do is just go ahead and hit pause you're then just going to go to an hit online and then go click on manage characters if you don't want to spend hours grinding out these glitches then be sure to check out gtaops.com they offer a variety of modded accounts and boosted services ranging from 20 million dollars to $1 billion. They are highly reliable with fast delivery. So if you are interested, the link of GTA Ops will be in the description and the pinned comments. So if you guys also want to use discount code Estrex for checkout, you guys will be able to get 10% off. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get back into the video. When you're here, make sure your first slot character is a male character and your second slot character is a female character. Now for me, even though it is a male character, I'm able to go ahead and edit it. So make sure your first character is a male and then go ahead and click on your second slot character, which I just did right here. Now, whenever it gives you the option, if you want to copy your rank, you can go ahead and hit yes or no. It doesn't matter. But for me, I'm just going to go and hit yes. And then it's going to bring you into here and just change your character sex into a female. And as soon as you do that, you can then just name, hit save and continue name your character whatever you want it doesn't matter and then you can just go and accept the photo and then you're going to load into a session as soon as you guys do load into a session with your female character what you're going to do is go to a clothing store so you can see i don't have any clothing store logos on the map if this happens to you what you need to do is just go ahead and find a new session and then just go to a clothing store now when you guys have made it to the clothing store, I'm gonna show you guys on how to make the components to get the yellow joggers. I already have the components made, so I'm just gonna go and equip it on my character, and then I'm gonna show you on how to make them. So now that you're here at the clothing store, go over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find work jackets, which will be right here on slot 13, and you're gonna look for the peach camo clothes field on slot 38. After you do buy the peach camo clothes field, back out of work jackets, Scroll down until you find gun running t-shirts on slot 27 and go all the way to the bottom on slot 60 and equip the blue digital t-shirt. Once you have the work jacket and the gun running t-shirt, back out of the top section, go over here to your pants. You're then just going to go to sports pants on slot 4 and equip the spotted muscle pants on slot 1. Now that you do have the pants and the tops, walk over here to your shoes, click on high heel boots on slot 2 and look for the Deluxe Midnight Combat on slot 24. After you do equip the Deluxe Midnight Combat boots, you can then back out of the shoe section and then head over here to your accessories. After you have made it to your accessories, click on earrings on slot two and make sure your character has no earrings. So go to slot one and click on no earrings. When your character has no earrings, you can then go down to gloves on slot 10 and go to the light woodland armored gloves on slot 32. And once you do equip the light woodland armored gloves, you can then back out of the accessories and that will be all for your outfit. So now you can go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot one. After you have saved this outfit, you're then just going to go ahead and back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu and you're just going to take the easy way out. This is just to ensure that your game saves us. And as soon as you guys have respawned, what you're going to do now is just go ahead and hit pause, go to online, go down to rockstar creator and select rockstar creator if you're on old gen i believe it's called creator but you're just going to go ahead and click on it anyway when you have loaded into the rockstar creator go down to create a race click on create a race and then you're just going to click on the first slot which is tutorial and after you click on tutorial it's going to bring up this alert you're just going to go ahead and hit yes after you do hit yes you're going to load into here so just hit pause you can now go to online and then you're going to go to manage characters so just click manage characters for right now this is basically the same for everybody you guys should be here for where your male characters in the first slot and then your female characters in the second slot scroll to your female character after you're hovering over your female character you're then going to go ahead and click on delete so if you're on xbox press x or if you're on playstation press square now it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this character? Hit yes, and then just type in delete to confirm to delete your female character. 
after you do delete your female character now it should bring you back here where the second slot character is some random character but your first slot character is a your is still your male character now this is where it's different for old gen and new gen if you are on old gen console so xbox one or ps4 you're going to go ahead and if you're on xbox one you're going to go ahead and press b now if you're on ps4 you're going to go ahead and press circle and it's going to load you back into story mode now for new gen so xbox series x and s and ps5 what you need to do is go ahead and join off of anawak so i will leave the names of anawak on the screen that fits your console right now and you can go ahead and go to that Anawak and try to join off their profile. So you're just going to go ahead and click on join game. You're going to get this alert. Just go ahead and hit yes. And then it's going to load you into story mode. And just like that, this is where everybody should be. Old gen and new gen, we should all be in story mode right now. Whenever you guys have loaded into story mode, you can now just hit pause, go to online. You can go to play GTA online. You can either go to an invite only session or a public session by just pressing go. So just whatever you guys like but I'll get back to you when I load into a session. And just like that, you can see as soon as you are back in a public session that you are wearing the outfit that you wanted to save before you did the transfer glitch. Now, if you pull up your interaction menu, go to your style and go to your outfits, you can see that you guys have your outfit that you saved on your female character and merged it over to your male character. I just named it the yellow joggers, which is very simple because that's what we're getting. Now, after you do make it to a clothing store and you are wearing the outfit that you wanted to save when you did the transfer glitch, go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, you're now just gonna go ahead and back out of the front counter. Now we're gonna get the yellow joggers. To get the yellow joggers, go over here to your pants, scroll down to cargo pants on slot four, and you're gonna look for the sand cargos on slot 10. After you do equip the sand cargos, back out of the pants section, go over here to your tops and take off any tops that your character has. So what I normally do is just go to t-shirts and then I'm just gonna click on no top on slot one. After you do have no top, you can then back out of the top section, go to your shoes, scroll down until you find motorcycle boots on slot 15, and you're gonna equip the black lace-up boots on slot 29. After you do equip the black lace-up boots, you can then just back out of the shoe section. Now, take off any head accessories that your character has. So I'm just gonna do it through the interaction menu. After your character has no head accessories, you can then go to your gloves or your accessories and then go down to gloves and scroll down until you find the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you've equipped the white cotton gloves, back out of your accessories, and then this is what your outfit should look like so far. When your outfit looks exactly like this, we're not gonna do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing. You can do that for the merge glitch, but for me, I'm gonna do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. Okay guys, when you do make it to your apartment, you're gonna go into the heist planning board room and then you're gonna go up here to the heist planning board. After you are here, you can choose any heist that you want. So just choose out of the five. For me, I'm on the flake of job. So if you guys do the flake of job, just complete the first job, which is called scope out, then go to the second job, which is called Kuruma and launch that mission. Now that you're here in the heist job that you wanted, now, as long as your heist clothing, you're able to set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, then this glitch will work. So as long as you have your heist clothing set to player saved outfits, you can then just confirm your settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're here on your owned outfits, just scroll one slot to the right. So just press right on your D-pad once, and then you'll see that the belt has transferred over to your pants. All you need to do now is just hit ready to play. As soon as you have loaded into the job, all you guys need to do now is just pull up your phone and you can quit the job from your phone. When you load back into a session, you'll see that you are wearing the outfit without the belt and the boots. So whenever you are in a session, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu, click on register as a boss. You can register, register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. It doesn't matter. But after you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure surf CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management click on style and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car and then you will see that you guys have the white sports shoes with the white gloves and you guys have the cop belt merged over with the yellow joggers. All we're gonna do now is just go over here to the mask store so then we get the helmet for our outfit. 
When you have made it to the clothing store, walk over here to the hat section. You're gonna scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 18, and you're gonna buy the black bulletproof. After you've bought the black bulletproof helmet, back out of the hats. Now we're gonna get the black parachute. To get the black parachute, just in case if you don't have it in your interaction menu. So I don't. So what I need to do is just go over here. We're gonna go to a gun store. Now that you are at the gun store, walk up here to the front counter and then you're going to scroll up to the parachute. Whenever you do click on the parachute, click on parachute bags and then you're going to scroll down until you find the black combat shoe bag, which will be on slot two. So go ahead and buy the black combat shoe bag. After you do that, back out of the front counter, it's going to disappear off your character. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on and it will be automatically set to the black combat shoe bag just like this and that will be all for your outfit so if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu here you guys go i think the yellow joggers look pretty good maybe if i had a better face paint maybe it would look make my outfit look a lot better but i like the yellow joggers a lot i think it looks really good but i hope you guys do like this outfit now you can just go up here to the top section and then just hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want and whenever you have saved it that will be all i hope you guys do like these yellow joggers Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.